Hey there, this is René for GNS Trivolt, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the Net Dynamic Lab. So it's called Net Dynamic because I will be using a pool of IP addresses that we can use to translate to. So uh, let me show you the topology here. On the left side, router Jack and Joe, they are on the inside of my network. On the right side you have router www, which is the outside of my network. And in the middle you can see router net, which is where we will configure the network address translation. So let's see what we have to do. First of all, no need to worry about the IP addresses, no need to worry about routing. Um, routing has been disabled on router Jack, Joe and www. And they have a default gateway pointing to router net. So you don't have to worry about routing issues here. The first step, we are going to create a pool called GNS 3 volt and this will be the range of IP addresses. Now you can see the range is 172.16 something something to 100 and this range of IP addresses is not, uh, you won't find it on any of the interfaces here. And th this is uh, perfectly fine, so uh, if you're using network address translation, it's possible to translate to a set of IP addresses that you do not have configured on the interfaces. This is no problem. So let me show you how to do this. Uh, and the pool will be called GNS3 Volt. So router net over here in the middle. Uh, let's create a pool. IP net pool called GNS3 Volt. This is the first address the last one and the network mask it's just a slash 24 whatever you want next step make sure you configure the correct inside and outside interfaces like this and then we can do the actual translation um, inside source uh, and I'll have to specify an access list um, because I need to select the devices that I want to translate so I'll create it in a bit and I'll call it access list number one and I'll translate access list one to pool GNS3 volt like this Let's create access list one. Permit. I want to permit the network where router Jack is located, so network 13, and Joe is in 23. So permit 13 and permit 23, like this. And now it should be okay. So We'll try it. Uh, let's go to router Jack and I'll do a ping to 34.4, which is router www. You can see it says success. And if we do a show IP net translation, you can see that it's working. So 13.1, that's router Jack, is being translated to 172.16.0.1, heading towards 34.4. So it's working. Let's do a, a test from router Joe as well. And you can see it's working. And router Joe, that's 23.2, has been translated to 172.16.0.2, which is the second IP address of the pool that I created. Um, so it seems to be working. So let me walk you through the configuration one more time. First of all, make sure you have the correct IP net inside or outside on the interfaces. Uh, this is how you create a pool. Mine is called GNS3 volt. Start IP, end IP. Specify the network mask. Create an access list where you will match the or permit the devices that you want to be translated. And then you pull it all together by using IP net inside source access list 1 and translate it to pool GNS3 volt. 
And that's it. That's all that I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and till next time.